This may be the most fun deck in Marvel Snap, and maybe any card game, because it includes Agatha Harkness, a bonkers card that starts in your hand and plays your cards for you. You essentially have no control. It's just Agatha, take the wheel. She will pick any random card she has the energy cost to play, and she'll put it in a random location. But the good news is you can build a deck that sort of coaxes or encourages Agatha to do certain things or just discards Agatha from your hand, which allows you to take back over. And when you're discarding a 14 power card, well, something like Hela starts to become really interesting because she will replay all the cards you discarded from your hand. That's 14 power from Agatha. It's 20 power from Infinite, who is in this deck just to be discarded and be a 20 power replay from Hela. Can also replay Captain Marvel, another card that lets you go AFK from decision making, but still can sneakily win some games. And then if you happen to discard your Hela, Ghost Rider could save the day, can sometimes randomly snipe that Hela that will also replay other discarded cards once revealed. And then you've got discard enablers like Hell Cow, which has also got some solid stats. And Lady Sif, which can target an Agatha sometimes rather nicely if other six cost cards aren't in hand yet. And then you've got cards like Wave, which are really important because she will make Agatha cost four. And if Agatha has the energy to play herself, she always will, removing her from your hand, letting you take control for turns five and six. Blade is another cool discard because if he's played on turn one, your odds of hitting Agatha are actually rather high since she starts in your opening hand and there's only a couple other cards left besides Blade. So all in all, the crazy thing is this deck can actually win games. It's not just a meme. People have played this to infinite rank and you're gonna watch me gain a lot of ranks in infinite while playing this deck myself. You just have to understand your limits and know when to snap and you can still find some wins. Real quick, before we move into the gameplay, I'd like to introduce our sponsor for this video, Bloodline Heroes of Lithis. Now Bloodline sponsored a video before and they decided to do it again. So that must mean lots of you downloaded this game last time around. But if you haven't tried out Bloodline just yet, now is the perfect time to do so. The game just got its biggest update ever with a cool new hybrid system. You can customize champions through the marriage system, combining to create over 800 different hybrids. Those will inherit talents and traits, but also some interesting new appearances all passed down the family tree and merged into one. On top of that, new characters are being released every month, allowing you to try out different hybrids and combinations. So you should be able to find the perfect hybrid to suit your style. I'm personally really invested in seeing these two characters here merge on top of all that bloodline has visually stunning 3d graphics plenty of waifus to raise airs with it's a big selling point there are easy to use controls on a vertical screen so you don't have to flip your phone a bunch and there are beautiful scenes and interesting storylines and of course it's free to play on both android and ios so you can download the game now and try it out for free. You can use my link down there in the description, or you could use that handy QR code that's popping up on the screen right here next to me. If you do use my link, you'll get a special starter pack that's worth $20. It includes 10 energy potions, 100,000 gold, and 100 diamonds. You'll also get a free vampire champion this Halloween starting on October 27th. I left Hearthstone ages ago to play Marvel Strike Force. I played that game a little bit a long time ago. I definitely missed having you as a CC. Uh, having you jumping into Marvel's Snap is close enough to make me smile. Thanks, DJ Snoo. It's nice, man. Is it Ebony Maw or Blade first, I wonder? It's Blade first, okay. It's a good sign. Hit that Agatha. Deadpool deck. Uh, okay, sure. It's fine to come back off hello later, so. Ooh, is Hagatha gonna shuffle herself into deck and I'll be able to take over again? Cause I don't think if she, if she's not in hand, I don't think she can take over, right? I think I might get rid of Agatha here. That could be good. Were you in beta? Already got some pool threes? Uh, yeah, you're seeing him. Hello. I have every card, so yes, I have all the cards. Every card. Which is a very nice place to be. It took forever and it was miserable until I got them all. <laughs> As many of you will well know. Uh, yeah, I... 
could try to snipe that for a little bit of an edge, but I don't think it's a very good one. I'm really gonna have a hard time getting Mojo World to, to win. We just don't have a lot of ways to play a lot of cards. Most of our cards are, uh, you know, one-offs. Like bigger high cost stuff. Ooh, that is a great draw though. Okay. Uh, what did we have in there though? Nothing really that good. It was like Ghost Rider and a bunch of garbage, right? I guess the Ebony Mall is pretty big at this stage actually. Ebony Mall is not too bad. They could have saved that for like a guaranteed win almost, but not super guaranteed. Um, okay, so I don't really think they're doing much here. I, I could actually just try to take the tie here. I think we're going to give up right. I, you know, if I played hell here, theoretically, we could win right. I think they're playing, uh, since my wave went off in particular, I think they're playing death plus something. Um, something big. We don't know what it'll be. It's going to be really hard to beat that unless we just get a lucky roll. Um... There's really no way to know where the lucky roll is going to come. I guess this is fine. We'll try it and see. We just don't have a lot of stats left. There's the death, and there's the taskmaster. There's the one-two punch. Uh, so we always win right. Can I ever take another lane? I don't think so, right? It's just too many small dudes. Oh! Oh! What? That combo! The Lady Sif discarded the Chavez, then the Ghost Rider summoned off the Hella, which pulled the Chavez, which got discarded mid-turn. That is actually insane. I can't believe we took that win. We completely stole it. We yoinked it. That Ghost Rider chain just jumped up and grabbed the opponent's heart and ripped it out live on air. That was beautiful. Wow. That was crazy. I need a slow-mo replay. Does he know that I know that he knows that I know that he knows sort of stuff? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. How, how many layers deep do you go on your opponent knowing your plays, right? That's the question. Okay. Grand Central's fine. That could give me some free good stuff into play. Wave in hand is awesome for Agatha. That's really good news. Hella in hand a little early. Blade's a bit of a risk and it should have gone mid, Agatha. Stop making bad plays, Agatha. Armor. Sure. Oh, that ruins my curve. Oh, no. Now we need Sarah. Is her name Sarah? What's her name? Not Sarah. What's her name? Uh, Lady Sif. We need Lady Sif uh, to discard Agatha, but it's only one in three. Hellcow could snipe the Agatha and the Infinite and leave behind a Hella, and that would be hella good. Hella good. Okay, is this a bot? I oh no, they, they, they could have shifted this hood over, but they're playing for a destroy lane. I don't think that's a bot. Okay. Discard Infinite and Agatha. Infinite and Agatha. Infinite and Agatha. Okay? Yes? Yes? That's fine. We take it. We take it. We take it. We're okay with that. We're okay with that. Because we might get Infinite here at the end of turn five. If we get Hella too, that's fine. Oh. I can't play this. Too big of a risk, right? Because we know we're going to get both of these if I pass. So I just pass and I can either play Hello or play Infinite, depending on what gets pulled here. So we just pass. Hobgoblin. Ugh, that's a little stressful. That's going to waste the Infinite. So I hope we get Hella. Yeah, nice. Okay, great. Because we're going to lose that position anyway, probably. So the Hella allows me to push my stats into other lanes. Oh, the wave might even disrupt them a little bit here. Can Infinite win mid? Oh god, I don't know. Maybe? <laughs> Maybe, yeah, I think it's worth trying, yeah. They usually don't have too many power plays. It's like Destroyer and Hobgoblin are their big, big stat dumps. Only two cards in hand. I think there's a pretty good chance we win this, actually. Let's snap. I'm feeling confident here. They are gonna gain more off the Mirror Island than I am, so that's one way for them to gain additional stats. They might have enough here. 
like a four and a three or something oh colossus is not enough yeah cool wow really nice win that's awesome that went perfectly really really great the hella hitting there was a big deal wish there was an add-on to, to read cards yeah it would be really nice but i don't think there is one yet Okay, blade up first. Wave in hand is really good too, because that means Agatha will get played, even if not discarded here. Unless, of course, we discard the wave, which would be the worst possible scenario. Oh, that's good. That just got, got upped anyway, so. Now we play wave on three, Agatha on four. Hella's in hand. Um, Enchantress off the Hella is not particularly exciting, though, so... We might have to take a hell cow roll to try to try to find a better line. I don't know. It's going to be iffy, but we do have a lot of cards in hand, so it might just be necessary, though, to win. We'll see how it feels. Did the power levels of decks jump like crazy in pool two and pool three? I don't think so. I, I've been winning with pool two stuff to show you guys pool two decks. It's definitely a little harder, but it's still competitive, I think uh it's it's more about like specific synergies just get a little bit more refined but card per card the early cards are effectively the same as later cards on a you know there's no like pool power creep it's more like synergy creep uh just as you get access to more and more cards you can obviously better refine a synergy but i don't think it's a huge gap either way all right wave into agatha I think I'm just a full-time Agatha streamer, dude. I love that I don't have to make decisions until the very end of the game. I just get to hang out with you guys and talk and just be completely AFK. I just need a little thing that auto clicks and see how much I can win, take a nap. I won Marvel Snap games while taking a nap is basically the moral of the story. White Tiger, okay, they are big mid. Definitely don't want to commit much there. Yeah, I think I think we can take this risk you know, the Hella is basically a 33% a to hit here across these two discards. So, pretty good chance we don't. I mean, we're still adding quite a bit of power with the Hell Cow either way. It's not like we're totally giving up this turn. And if it, if it whiffs, we can Captain Marvel next turn and maybe try to take a snipe. Opponent snaps, like, eh, whatever. We'll play it out. I'm cool with the risk. That's good. That's not so good, but the Infinite's great, so I think I'm still happy. Okay, we're tied there. We got the Hella. It's Hella into, what was it? Uh, Infinite and something small, right? What was that? A wave? No, it wasn't a wave. What was it? I, oh, Enchantress. Enchantress, which really won't matter much. But I think adding this here to contest this a little bit. Infinite can certainly snipe either here or either position. The rock is going to be dead, but this is definitely a way to go. The rock is gonna be dead. Okay, so we win right, we win mid. No, 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 do we win mid? Oh no, oh, 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 the debate. Oh, we tie right, but we win mid and left. Beautiful, I thought this was gonna be the infinite and be wasted, Victory. but it all worked out. Let's go, dude, you just can't beat this. I haven't really seen the mid turn discard and resummon yet, but it worked out great. Pretty unlikely for all that to line up, but it did. Okay, Wave is great if Agatha plays her first instead of Lady Sif. Hopefully that happens. Yeah, actually Scorpion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get over here. Oh, that's fantastic for Ebony Maw. Okay. Now if we get this Wave down early, we're going to be in an interesting spot. The Lady Sif, real risk though right now. Okay, she plays the Wave. That's good. Um, oh, but Agatha's going to get shuffled into 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 deck, which I guess kind of solves the problem the same way. Eh? I think about it a lot. Okay, Mjolnir definitely a threat to take mid. It's going to be hard for me to get a lot more stats here because... Whoa, what is happening? What is happening? My game DC or something? What is happening? Snap! <laughs> you guys see me, right? Do you guys see me? Just wait, it happened to me with this location. Oh. Okay. 
something to do with atalon and thor or just atalon in general on pc i've never had this before oh whoa okay cool cool great job atalon we'll try for jubilee here hopefully hit something big agatha would be cool Shava is certainly fine. That's the expected result, actually. <sighs> Agatha takes back over. Okay. Mm, so we're losing our hand. We're playing off a top deck here. What's our best top deck situation? Maybe a uh, Captain Marvel. Mine would go second, which is nice sometimes. Hella would actually be an insane top deck, huh? Oh my god, Hella would be insane. I, like, actually insane. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Oh my god. Um Yeah, that's fine. Oh my god. What? They must not have hit their Thor piece and couldn't win mid. Uh dude, that's a shame. We were gonna absolutely do some crazy stuff. That's an incredible top deck. <laughs> dude, when this deck's rolling and doing the things it's supposed to do, it's actually sort of great. It, it really can do some silly things. Yeah, I heard somebody said armor is like Jean Grey in there or something one time. I, I didn't know that or I still don't know that. Okay, Ebony Moss, fine. We don't really care. We have ways to play around that. And it's actually a good spot that it's not left, I guess. World ship number two incoming. Yeah, that's that would be nice to have if we were controlling ourselves, but with Agatha it probably doesn't matter much. So not a huge loss. All right, blade into anything here is kind of okay. Uh, well, Agatha's the best for sure. Ghost Rider, eh. Not the best, because now we don't really have a way to play Hela, because Agatha, well, maybe we get Wave, we do. We need Wave. We need her to play a Wave. Lady Sif will discard, maybe, maybe Agatha, we'll see. I kind of like Ebony Momos because it, 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 it sort of narrows the Agatha and like forces her to go in, in one of two directions instead of, or, you know, in two directions instead of all three. So like stats tend to get a little more stacked up. That seems like an advantage here, actually. Ooh, man, a Hello would be so nice, but I can't play it unless I get a wave. Because Agatha will always play herself, not Hella. She's gonna play the wave. That means she's gonna play herself on five and then we could top deck a Hela maybe on six. Oh my God, that would be a dream. That would be such a dream. If not, I mean, Captain Marvel's still a fine finish in some cases, but I suspect we won't be, I don't know. I don't think we'll be ahead left. Left's gonna be hard to win. We don't have enough cards to win left. We can't really compete mid without a Hela. So we're kind of stuck playing for right. Now they did just add some stats, right? So let's see where Agatha goes here. Make a big difference. Oh, oh my God, it's the perfect hand. <laughs> Dude, we're gonna snap. I think we're gonna snap. I, what, what did he discard? The Ghost Rider, which won't matter, but the, the Infinite being in the Hela is a really big difference. I mean, it's still gonna demand some luck. Like we have to get it to go in a good position, which we can't control, it just has to be lucky. But it could be amazing, right? Could be, oh, Iron I Man's hard to beat Iron though, Man. jeez. I would actually say impossible to beat, maybe. So, man, there is a tiny world where Captain Marvel's better, but I don't think so. Weirdly, an infinite left would win if they don't commit any more to it or gain off collector because it's 4752. Yeah, I think this is the move, man. Let's go. I'm willing to play it out. Let's see. There's a good chance we win this. Just depends on that hella luck. Ghost Rider is going to be important too because a little bit of stats left and left or mid and right could be a big deal. Really big deal. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. You got this, Hella. Opponent's really thinking. Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. Bring it. I don't care. I have nothing to lose, sir. I I wouldn't. I, I hate taking cubes off people if uh if I'm the one who snaps. Okay. Okay. Absolutely easy cubes. 
Easy cubes. I'm really surprised they went left. Victory. They just really didn't add much power. I don't think that's a bot because I don't think bots use the, the portraits and that name is not particularly bot-like. Huh. Amazing, dude. Really good win. Infinite would not have won left, so we got lucky. We got lucky that it went mid. Uh, we would have only added 25 here, which is not beat 64. If we'd added Ghost Rider and Infinite left, could we have won 47.52 and another eight? No, it would have only been 60. No, so kind of had to go this way for the Infinite to win. Awesome that we take the roll though and get the eight cubes. Guys, we're climbing, man. We're climbing. So we don't really get to do anything except hit in turn and snap as uh, is appropriate. <laughs> or retreat as is appropriate. Agatha's gonna do everything for us. I'm just sitting here like an idiot. Agatha, don't play. Okay. I'm gonna say don't play in the negative zone <laughs> because that obviously gives us zero power. Agatha, would have been nice to play there or it was gonna close, Agatha. Apparently the plays are just completely random. I mean, she'll play things that are, you know, available. Obviously she won't just play cards that aren't available to play. She abides by the rules of energy costs, but otherwise is completely random. So we can't, okay, again, going there. Uh, now here would be nice if she discards herself with Hellcow. He discards two, so she might discard herself and then I get to take over. Once she discards herself, I get to play, but it's, it might be too late, we'll see. Wave gone, Agatha gone, so I can play. Okay, great. If we hit a Hella, oh, we hit the Hella off the top. That's actually amazing. We've got a shot here, I think. We could actually win this. Okay, okay, okay. So we have, what did we have in there? We had a wave, we had an Agatha, and what did he discard? Oh, a Sarah, he discarded a Sarah. Okay. I think mid is gone, right? Oh, although, man, I don't know. Iron Man actually kind of hurts you mid often because he's got negative power there. But still going to be hard to win, hard to win mid. We could actually put the Heli here and it would go to three and this would be three and that would be nine. It would be enough to win if they don't play anything else. Technically. But I could also snipe that with an Agatha, right? Agatha would put 11 there, which would put us to 14. So we can put Hello left. Uh, this is, I think we have a good chance to win this, honestly. They can't have that much power development in the final turn, maybe like a Doctor Doom. I'm gonna snap this. I think we've got a shot here. I don't, I don't put in like infinite power. We might get really bad positioning, but Captain Marvel can fix that because Captain Marvel, if you haven't seen, at the end of the game, she moves to a spot that wins if it can, so. We have some flexibility here if things go badly. Could put the Hello with the Captain Marvel, but... Oh, that's fine. They don't have any discards. That's totally fine. We take it. Let's go. Let's go! Easy eight cubes with Agatha. I love it. I love it. I wouldn't even say we hit the best here. This is certainly overkill, but leader doesn't do enough. Leader doesn't have the discards for Hella. Leader copies my plays, but his don't have any discards in the pool, so. Great stuff. All right, Agatha goes blade right. She's saving all the power for the Nexus. I like it, Agatha, smart stuff. Oh, yes. I love when she gets discarded immediately. It's like we get all the bonus with no downside. It seems like it happens a lot. I'm sure it's just like, uh, you know, our brain's doing weird things to us, but this is actually probably free. We're going to be putting most of our power left anyway. Hella can kind of deny the, ignore the Ebony Maw anyway. So maybe we just put some stats here while we can. Um, Ghost Rider Agatha is 14 here already. Honestly, we don't necessarily need Hella. Currently, Lady Sif always hits Hella, so it's kind of a risk. I could go Lady Sif into Hella and try to Ghost Rider the Hella. Oh no, dude, no! No! <laughs> no, come on! I played Ebony Maw, I can't play cards here. And and, the, and it rolled the world ship, which means I literally just can't play anymore for the final few turns of the game. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. Well, we lose and they snapped. Okay, that is the literal worst roll in the game. I mean, I can't have had a worse outcome. You could leave with one loss and not feel too bad. Ooh, the peak. 
That screws us. Each card in hand swaps its power. God, God dang it, dude, we are getting wrecked. Everything we play sucks. Uh, why are we getting so unlucky right now? It's been this way all night. How often is the season restart? Uh, I don't know, man. I think I'm retiring from card games forever tonight, so it doesn't really matter. Ugh, we hadn't top deck that blade. She would have played the wave and then would have played herself next turn. She seems to always play herself if possible. But instead we hit the, oh my God, why is that so consistent? That's gotta be busted. That can't be right. That's gotta be broken. How did we not have Jubilee in our opening hand, by the way? That would have been great. Not a lot of good hits here anymore, unfortunately. Ghost Rider would be nice, I guess. Yes! We're gonna deck out here in a second. We're literally drawing every card in our deck. Okay. Oh yeah, but she's only six. She's really not that good. Oh my god, I forgot. She's not even that good. Um, okay. We could just pa- Oh no, Infinite's a six. We can't go for Infinite. That sucks. Okay, so I guess we're playing Captain Marvel. Guess we're playing Captain Marvel. And then just like Hell Cow. Pass? I don't have a good. I mean, I, I could go Hell Cow, honestly. I don't know how good their Dracula is going to be. Their cards might have got weirdly expensive and stuff. I can go Hell Cow here and try to high roll, I guess. If I keep the Hella in hand, that would be really nice. I think we need a high roll play. Keep the Hella, keep the Hella, keep the Hella. Oh, I am absolutely over the moon tilted, dude. Honestly, my opponent has played nothing though, so I, I don't know. We're just gonna hit turn. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, just the infinite. Uh, and then sunspot. I guess they were trying to maybe snipe a Dracula roll there, but too many cards in hand. I think I think their costs got all screwed up from the peak, and they couldn't dump a hand like they normally would. So. Whatever, this worked out. Somehow, somehow we win, despite the most unfortunate sequence of events possible. Two games in a row. How can you tell when it's a bot? Uh, they have a certain series of portraits, like the base kind of starter character portraits, like that was America Chavez. They have names that are like basic first names. That was Malik, uh, you know, just a standard first name. And then uh, sometimes their plays are just really bad. Like that was just an always losing play, no human would make that play. I mean, it's possible, obviously, but less likely to make a boneheaded play. That's why people think I'm a bot, because I have a basic first name and I make boneheaded plays. <laughs> uh, we actually are a bot right now, because Agatha's controlling our cards, but... I could definitely shift over to uh, a base portrait and try to convince people that I'm a bot. That would actually be pretty funny, I think. All right, I get to play it on five. We can go with Marvel on six. Ghost Rider uh, does hit Hella as well, but there's nothing else to discard. We don't have a play to go with that. What does Agatha do? She starts in her hand and plays your cards for you. Randomly. Okay, I guess, yeah, that's nice, that's nice. I mean, we can finish with Captain Marvel here and try to take a snipe, right? Well, we're never gonna win mid. Can we ever take left? We got an invisible girl. And that's a tie. What did this have we said? This had Hella, but there's no other discards, right? So it's only nine power and not in a good spot. Uh, this pivoting left is one way to win, but it's only gonna add nine power there. Are they gonna beat nine power here? What are they playing even? I don't even know what they've played. I haven't been paying any attention. I really just have not played any attention. I think this is the best chance to win by moving moving left, but we'll see. Hell cow. This really is a hella that they managed to get off my wave. It's pretty nuts. Really gross. Oh my God, their stats are all going in the wrong place. Their stats all went in the wrong place. 
Oh no, the infinite saved it. No, I still win. The gravity ball's big enough. You're kidding me. You're kidding me. They got all the stats dumped to mid, which screwed them. Infinite wasn't enough here for Marvel. That is not how I expected to win. The single Ebony Maw holding it down against Invisible Woman and Hella. Well done, sir. Well done. That's amazing.